everyone. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Springfield Hellcat. Uh, this is my everyday carry gun. I absolutely love it, but there are some upgrades that I highly recommend you look at if you're interested in carrying one of these every day or just having and shooting for fun. So I'm going to go into a little bit of reviewing of these four upgrades that I highly recommend. And then we're going to do some trigger weight testing between an original Hellcat and an upgraded Hellcat using the Powder River Precision Trigger Kit. So right here is the Springfield Hellcat OSP. That means it has this plate that can be removed and red dots can be added. However, if you want to add a red dot like the Hollow Sun 507K, you can do some DIY editing of the posts that are under this plate. However, if you're going to do that, just keep in mind that if you mess it up, then you've really messed it up. But that's one of the first things I recommend people do for an upgrade is getting a red dot. Now, the Shield RMSC that comes with the Hellcat. Now, the Shield RMSC that comes on a lot of the Hellcat options, like you see the one on my shirt here. I personally just did not like that red dot because it's not 100% waterproof. I have done training where it is pouring outside and I don't want that one drop of rain getting in here and ruining it. Now there are a few videos out there showing the Hellcat with the Shield RMSC being thrown into puddles and such, and the Shield just didn't make it. So I went with the Holosun 507K. It's very small, very lightweight, and very user-friendly. It is definitely one of my top favorite red dots that's currently available for pistols. So that would be the first upgrade that I recommend is the Holosun 507K. Now this is a Gen 2, or what they call the X2, the original Gen 1. I actually did have the front lens break. I was actually in the middle of a class. I was teaching a class here in Idaho on a basic defensive pistol, and the lens popped straight out and was just sitting there in the front. It didn't fly off or anything like that. But I contacted Hollow Sun. They got back to me very quickly. I got that one sent in. They sent me this X2 to replace it very quickly and it has the exact same footprint, so it was simple plug and play as far as putting a new one in. So first upgrade would be a red dot. I prefer the Holosun 507K. The 407K is also pretty good. It's a similar version to this. I highly, highly recommend that. The second upgrade that I would go with would be this light. Now, I really, really like Olight. They have been phenomenal. They have been very affordable for very high quality and very good customer service. But this uh, PL Mini Valkyrie has worked really, really well. So I definitely recommend that. Some of the main reasons I recommend having a light is one for target identification. Basically, I need to know if the bad guy I'm shooting is actually a bad guy or not really a bad guy. And so I definitely like this one. It's very lightweight for being on a pistol, but it does add just a little bit of weight. And one of the reasons I like having a little bit extra weight on the front is because it adds weight to the entire frame of the pistol, which helps reduce recoil. Now it's pretty well known. If you go back to my other Hellcat video, this is a pretty snappy gun because there's not a lot of frame weight to it. So adding just those few ounces to the front really makes it easy to get a little bit more counterbalance and it's really easy to control. So you really can't go wrong uh, with this light. And I like that it doesn't stick out really far in front of the muzzle. Now, the next big upgrade would be a trigger system. Currently, I have the Powder River Precision Kit installed. This one wasn't overly complicated. It took me a little while, and there's a great detailed video on how to install it, so I'm not gonna be showing that in this video. So let's go ahead and do that little test right here. Hold gently until we get that nice clean break. So this one is actually 5.4. That's very nice and pull nice and even 510 right out of the box not a serious heavy weight to it 511 so right about five pounds 10 ounces and it's it's got this take up right here like normal it's a little heavy in the slack and then there's a wall and you press and press and it doesn't do much until there's a little bit of a break right there so just go 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 and break it's a nice even weight after you take up the slack and then the brake. However, with the Powder River Precision, it is much smoother. Basically, this is much lighter, the slack right here. And as you pull, you immediately start getting in to that pull and it just breaks nice and even. It's an even steady weight all the way through the weight of the trigger pull. And so it's very easy to be very precise with that. So let's go ahead and get a weight on that. Steadily pull. Oh, wow. That surprised me. 411. So about a pound lighter. Steady pull and pull. That one's 4.4. Till it breaks. We don't know when it's going to break. 410. Yeah, so basically a pound lighter, uh, but it is much lighter in the slack right here. And then a nice even, oh, wow, really even press 
all the way through the trigger there. So for this video, we're gonna be going over the Powder River Precision, and I'll have another video going over the Apex. Apex was nice enough to actually send this trigger out and send me this shirt. Very much appreciate them supporting the channel. And I've heard nothing but good stuff about this, uh, as well as this trigger. So we're going to see uh, which one is the preferred one. Now, real quick on this light, I used to use this Crimson Trace light. And I liked it because of how compact it was. I don't like having big bulky lights on my everyday carry pistols. But I need something that's really going to do the job. And this did the job for what it could do. It's not super bright, for, but for a small room, it does very well. This is much, much brighter. And I love the quick detach here. Actually, one of the things that I will do is I can throw this right here on my headset. And this gives me the option of running a light here on my ear pro. So that's why I actually have this Picatinny rail mount up here. It just allows me to reach up. And this is actually pointing right where I'm looking right in front of me. And so it does a really good job of that. And I just like having the option of being able to quickly attach and detach. I'm obviously not going to remove it from my gun and put it on here, but I found this to work really well. You know, I've been hunting with other guys where I'm not the one actually hunting. I'm just there to basically help pack stuff out. And I can throw this on here and give me another headlight. It also quickly attaches onto here, just like that. Very easy. So I love these O-lights. I highly recommend them. I'll have links down below for the ones that I use. But the other thing that I think you should consider upgrading is the grip itself. Now, I really like the Talon grips, and the reason I upgraded is because I do have pretty sweaty hands. When the Hellcat was first launched, they said that it had this very special grip where there was high peaks and low peaks all woven together, so that way the gun really dug into your hand. And I think the grip is good. It's much better than, say, like their XD Gen 1s. Those were pretty smooth and uh, not easy to grip, but it's not as grippy as I would have thought. And so that's why I upgraded to using the Talon grip. Now this is the pro version and I like it the most out of all of the other versions. This used to be my everyday carry gun. This is an XD Mod 2 with the Talon grips rubberized grip. I've got a few thousand rounds since putting this grip on and it's held up very well except for the fact that it's a little bit too smooth now. It's lost some of that grippiness and so naturally just kind of breaks down and uh, I can get my fingers slipping on here a little bit especially in the back strap is where it seems to get the most play. So it still works and it does help, but it's not as good as what it was when it was brand new. And then this is one of my loner pistols. Basically, I have the sandpaper grip on here and this works really, really well, except it's extremely aggressive once it's fresh out of the box. And so this has a few thousand rounds through it as well. Uh, and it's much, much more tame since it's been used so much. And so now it's at that right level where it's not going to rip up my clothes or get caught up on stuff just because it's so grippy. But once again, here in the back, it's actually worn through because it's been used so much. And uh, that's why I liked these pro option right here, because it's kind of like sandpaper in the sense that it's very rised up. Uh, there's very distinct individual peaks here. However, it's rubber. And so it's kind of a weird feeling. It's almost like a sponge. And so when I squeeze into this, I can literally feel my fingers sinking into this and it allows for amazing grip on here. And so I have the pro version on a couple other of my guns and I reached out to Talon and they were actually nice enough to send this for testing out the Hellcat here. And so I just, I absolutely love it for this being such a small gun and the fact that it's a little bit snappier than larger size guns because of its weight. I definitely recommend getting those pro grips. And in addition, I also got these uh, Pro Grip magazine extended pieces right here. Now, this does not come in the standard kit with the grip here. It's like $2.50 more. But if you have any extended mags, I highly recommend it because then once the extended mag is all the way in, I get that nice extra grip right here on the pinky. Whereas since there's not one for the smaller mag, uh, I just have to go with the standard stock grip which isn't that bad, but I would definitely recommend getting the extended mag ones as well. For my everyday carry spare mag, I actually use these uh, Pitbull Tactical Mag Carriers. They're really, really nice. Uh, they fit pretty much any mag in there, any single stack or double stack, and it works very well with my works holster. Now, when I first got the Hellcat, there were not a lot of holster options. There's definitely not as much support for Springfield stuff as there is for like Glock stuff. And so I couldn't find an Olight and Hellcat combination of holster. So this is actually an XDS holster and it has worked phenomenally. I've done thousands of thousands of draws from this 
Uh, I've actually done the Modern Samurai Project Red Dot class, which I highly, highly recommend you check out. Scott Bear, uh, some people call him Jedi. He is a phenomenal teacher. And if you're doing any Red Dot, if you have not trained with a Red Dot before, you definitely want to go check that out. Actually, one of the things that I learned from Scott was using this uh, liquid chalk. This stuff works amazing. You just put a tiny bit on your hands, rub it in. And because I have sweaty hands, it really, really helped to keep the grip. But now I don't have to worry about that as much because I've got these Talon grips here, the pros. These grips have a lot of repetition in them from doing my, my dry fire and my training at the range. And uh, they have held up very, very well. They have not seemed to break down as fast as the other standard ones. So those are the four big upgrades. First, a red dot. I highly, highly recommend it. Then the Olight PL2 Mini Valkyrie. I really, really like this light. It's very easy to use. The trigger is awesome from Powder River Precision and I'll have another video about the Apex. So make sure you are subscribed so that way you get notified of when I release that information. And then last of all, the Talon Grips. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure to click the thumbs up, hit the subscribe and bell. That way you get notified of when more great content comes out like this. Of course, it's great content, of course. And so anyway, make sure you're subscribed. I really appreciate you watching. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Maybe you've tried different grips or different red dots, something like that. Go ahead and comment on that down below. Have you tried the Apex? Go ahead and comment on that down below. How have you liked your Hellcat? Has it been great? Has it been bad? What holsters are you using? Let's make the comment section a wealth of information for people who need more information. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and we will see you all next time.